Welcome to the Tesla Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is July 31st, 2024. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. Authorities in Washington state have confirmed that a Tesla involved in a fatal crash with a motorcyclist near Seattle in April was operating on the company's full self-driving FSD system at the time. The investigation, conducted by the Washington State Patrol, revealed this after analyzing data from the vehicle's event data recorder. The driver of the Tesla, who was reportedly distracted by his cell phone, has been arrested for investigation of vehicular homicide due to his inattention while using the autopilot feature. The motorcyclist, identified as 28-year-old Jeffrey Nissen, was pronounced dead at the scene after being struck by the Tesla. This incident marks at least the second fatality in the US linked to Tesla's FSD system, which is still under scrutiny by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has previously stated that he expects the FSD system to operate without human supervision by the end of the year, despite acknowledging that past predictions have been overly optimistic. The company has two automated driving systems, FSD, which can handle various driving tasks, and Autopilot, which assists with lane keeping and obstacle avoidance. Musk has been promoting the idea of a fleet of robo-taxis, but experts like Phil Koopman from Carnegie Mellon University caution that fully autonomous vehicles without human oversight are still years away. The ongoing investigation will determine if any charges will be filed against the driver as the case raises significant questions about the safety and reliability of Tesla's self-driving technology. William Stein, an analyst from Truist Securities, recently tested Tesla's full self-driving FSD system and experienced a near crash during his drive. This incident highlights ongoing concerns about the safety and reliability of Tesla's autonomous driving technology. Stein, who holds a hold rating on Tesla's stock, took the test drive after Elon Musk suggested that investors should experience the FSD system to understand the company better. During the test, Stein reported that the vehicle's performance was lacking, stating that Tesla is not even close to achieving full autonomy. This incident adds to the scrutiny surrounding Tesla's FSD, which has faced criticism and skepticism from various stakeholders. The near-crash incident raises questions about the readiness of Tesla's technology for widespread use and the implications for safety on the roads. As Tesla continues to promote its FSD capabilities, incidents like this may impact investor confidence and public perception of the technology. Tesla has issued a recall for over 1.8 million vehicles due to a safety issue where hoods can unexpectedly open while driving. This recall affects several models, including the Model 3, Model S, Model X, and Model Y, produced between 2020 and 2024. The issue was first reported in March 2024, primarily by customers in China, who experienced unintended hood openings. Investigations revealed that the problem stemmed from deformation of the hood latch switch, which could prevent drivers from being alerted to an open hood. Although similar cases were found in North America and Europe, they were less frequent than in China. Tesla conducted engineering studies and decided to issue the recall in mid-July after notifying the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA. The company has recorded a few warranty claims related to this issue, but has not reported any crashes or injuries. To address the problem, Tesla plans to implement an over-the-air software update that will notify drivers if the hood is open prompting them to stop and secure it. This recall is slightly smaller than a previous one in December 2023, which involved over 2 million vehicles. Elon Musk has encouraged skeptics of Tesla's robo-taxi concept to experience the company's full self-driving FSD feature firsthand. However, a recent test drive by William Stein, a Wall Street analyst from Truist Securities, raised concerns about the safety and reliability of the FSD system. During his drive, Stein reported that the vehicle made several illegal maneuvers, including switching lanes where prohibited and accelerating through an intersection, necessitating his intervention to avoid a potential accident. Despite these issues, Stein noted some improvements in the FSD's ability to handle challenging driving conditions compared to his previous test in April. Musk has claimed that FSD is safer than human drivers, 
and has staked Tesla's future on the success of robotaxis, which he believes could significantly increase the company's value. He has projected that Tesla's market cap could reach $5 trillion by the end of the decade, far exceeding its current valuation. However, the rollout of the robotaxi service has been delayed from August to October 10th, as Tesla aims to make necessary improvements. Regulatory scrutiny has also intensified, with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, previously recalling vehicles equipped with FSD due to safety concerns. The agency has mandated multiple recalls over the past year, citing risks associated with the technology. Tesla has not publicly responded to Stein's findings or the ongoing regulatory challenges. Tekla S. Parry, a pioneering figure in technology journalism, is retiring after 45 years with IEEE Spectrum. She began her career in 1979, using tools like a typewriter and a push-button phone, and quickly made a name for herself with in-depth reporting on Silicon Valley startups, particularly her notable work on Xerox PARC. Perry's October 1985 article on PARC is highlighted as a significant contribution, as it provided early insights into the groundbreaking technologies developed there. Over the decades, she established relationships with key figures in tech, including Steve Wozniak and Andy Grove, and became known for her profiles of influential innovators. As the first woman editor at IEEE Spectrum, Perry paved the way for future female journalists in the field, inspiring many with her dedication and impactful storytelling. Her work has been recognized as invaluable, not only for its historical significance, but also for the connections she fostered between readers and the tech community. Colleagues and readers alike have expressed their admiration for her contributions, noting how her reporting has shaped the understanding of technology's evolution. Perry's retirement marks the end of an era, but her legacy will continue to influence aspiring journalists and the tech industry. That's all for today's episode of the Tesla Daily News. Be sure to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we've covered. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.